Hi, good morning everyone. As we are in a lockdown period for a long time, 42, 42 days, so we have lost out many academic classes due to which we are uh, lacking behind a lot from our syllabus. So to balance that one, we came out here today to with some video of the subject mathematics. It's in this video we are going to revise the exercise which we have been doing just before the lockdown starts. As the students, as if you remember, we have been doing chapter 3, pairs of linear equation in two variables, and we have been discussing that the pairs of linear equation in two variables can be solved by three methods, that is, number one, substitution method, substitution method, and number two, elimination method, and number three, it is a cross multiplication method. Number one, it is a substitution method. Number two, it is an elimination method. And number three, it is a cross multiplication method. Now, we have been uh, oh, studying about the substitution method. So let's revise it once how to do the substitution method. Let us do one sum to better understand the substitution method. Let us take two linear equations. Number one, it is x plus y equal to 14. Let us take this as equation one. And another one is x minus y is equal to 4. That is equation two. These two equations are given and we have to solve these two linear equations by substitution method. Now, from equation one, we will take from equation one x plus y is equal to 14. We are going to keep any one variable. We are going to keep any one variable in the left hand side and remaining all we are going to keep in the right hand side. So either you take for x or you take y, it's up to you. So let us take x here at 14. This plus y will move the side minus 1. If you are keeping y, then this x will move the side minus x. So, 14 will be 14 minus y equals to 14 minus x. But since we are keeping here x, so plus y moving the side, there is minus y, so x equals to 14 minus y. Now, we are going to substitute, substituting x equal to 14 minus y in equation 2. Substituting x equal to 14 minus y in equation 2. Let us substitute and see what happens. x minus, in place, sorry, in place of x, we are going to write 14 minus y, then minus y. In place of x, we are writing 14 minus y, minus y equal to 4. Minus y, minus y, minus 2y equal to 4, plus 14 moving the side, minus 14, minus 2y is equal to plus 4 minus 14 minus 10 minus minus cancel 2 5 ja, 10 y equal to 5 we are getting here y equal to 5 now putting this y equal to 5 in this equation you get the value for x x equal to 14 minus y it is 5 so in place of y we are putting 5 14 minus 5 is 9 so x equal to 9 comma y equal to 5 are the solutions of these two given linear equations in two variables. So this is the method of substitution. This is the substitution method to solve the two pairs of linear equations in two variables. Three. So uh, to better understand, let us do one more example to uh, understand it more, uh, more, uh, more uh, clearly. The substitution method. So let's go. Let's uh, let's go for the next one. See, three x by two minus one y by three is equal to minus two. Again, another is x by three plus y by two is equal to thirteen by six. These two are the equations given. Now, in this sum, in this sum, these two pairs of li linear equations 
are in fractions. The variable, the coefficient of the variables are in fractions. So, uh, what we are going to do is, we are going to reconstruct the given, equ given equations. How to reconstruct? See here, we are going to take LCM, 2, 3, LCM is 6, 2, 3, ja, 6, 3, 3, ja, 9x, minus 3, 2, ja, 2, 5, ja, 10y, is equal to minus 2. Nine x minus ten y is equal to six to the twelve minus twelve. This is the equation one. Let us reconstruct the second one again here. Taking LCM three and two LCM is six. Three two ja two into x two x plus two three ja three into y three y is equal to thirteen by six. Six six cancel two x plus three y is equal to 13, which is equation number 2. So after reconstructing the given linear equations, we got these two equations which we marked out as equation number 1 and equation number 2. Now we are going to solve by the substitution method as we have done in the previous step. 9x from equation 1, from equation 1, 9x minus 10y is equal to minus 12. See here, we are going to keep any one, 9x, x we are keeping, so 9x minus 12, minus 10y moving that side, plus 10y, x equal to minus 12, plus 10y by 9. This is the substituting value of x we got. Now we are going to substitute it Substituting x equal to 12 minus 12 plus 10 y by 9 in equation 2. Let us substitute it and see what happens. 2x, 2x and x value here you can see minus 12 plus 10 y. So x value we are going to write minus 12 plus 10 y by 9. This is the x value. It is 2x, 2 writing into x it is minus 12 plus 10y by 9. So in place of x writing minus 12 plus 10y by 9 plus 3y is equal to 13. So now we are going to break this bracket. 2 plus 24 minus 24 plus 2 data 20 y by 9 is equal plus 3 y is equal to 30. Let us take the LCM here. 9 9 y job. 1 into minus 24 plus 20 y minus 24 plus 20 y plus 9 3 job, 27 y is equal to 30. 20 plus 27, it is 47, minus 24, 20 plus 20y plus 27y, it is 47y, minus 24, 9 into 13, 9 into 13, it will be 9, 3, 10, 27, 10, 10, 2, 10, 9, 10, 11, 100, 70. So, 47y is, 47 is equal to 170. I hope you can see 47y, 117, minus 24 moving that side, plus 24. So, so y is equal to 117 plus 24, 141 by 47. 47, 3 ja, 141, y equal to 3. Now we are going to get the x value, x equal to minus 12 plus 10 y, minus 12 plus 10 y it is 3 by 9, minus 12 plus 10 3 is 30 by 9, minus 12 plus 30 it is plus 18 by 9, 9 2 is 18 is equal to 
2. So x equal to 2 and y equal to 3 is the solution of this sum. I hope you learned at least you just uh, uh, the previous what we have done. I, I hope it has been recalled. So uh, here in this portion we got six sums, six sums we got and I have done two sums and I want you all to do the remaining four sums of this question. We have already done in the class, but again you do it. Uh, again you do it by yourself and please let me know if you have any doubt in while solving out the this remaining four sums. So that in the next video I can bring out with some more sums of these particular exercises. These questions are here. So for those for those uh, sounds we can bring out some more videos. This is Nirmal Roy signing off. Thank you.